And yet, because you know, preach the gospel. You see, the gospel is only going to change someone's life. And we can't let fear of the numbers and fear of the political clout that these groups and people have that we become silent. Isaiah said, we're supposed to cry loud and spare not. Didn't he say? All it takes is for us, the saints of God, to be silent. The sin is really just to take over. Y'all sang that song, and I'm going to hold you to it. Send me. I don't know. Y'all said it, didn't you? Are you ready for that? Wow. So when we see the gravity of the situation, sometimes we can get overwhelmed by it. There's so much. I can't do that. I'm just one person. Don't you know a soul is one, one by one? Yeah. If you win a soul, then that soul wins another soul. And the soul he won with, you know, the multiplication factor. And so it's like eating an elephant. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. It's a big job. You can get it done one bite at a time. So, that's what I want to be talking about. Well, I think this is a classic story. It's a classic story of redemption and salvation and grace and mercy. It should be entitled the good father. Because most of us, and I, I, I go through this and I said, I don't know if I could do that. If I had a son or daughter just kind of did me that way, you know, most of us, well, praise God for the Holy Ghost. Right. Because, you know, that treatment is just, you know, but the scripture says the father daily looked down the road, kept looking for him. Now, most of us, this locked door changes the lock. Door. <laughs> restoring people back to rightness. And sometimes the hardest people to restore is your family. Oh, yes. They don't they take your money, they don't pay it. <laughs> they avoid it because they come for more money. Because they always got to, everybody's got somebody in the family that always has a crisis. Yeah. So, crisis, crisis, everything's a crisis. So, you know, and they know that you get steward of your money, you get married, you get silver, you get steward, they know that Because the wages of sin is death. 
Jesus is the answer. So whatever question they bring, Jesus is yet the answer. For sin, for sickness, for disease, for marital problems, Jesus is the only answer. As I close, we think about this young man and his parable, which is us. Father of God, that prodigal son and all those who walked away. He came to himself and he went home. Not expecting anything, he just went home. He came just as he was. He didn't try to fix it up. He went home. And there's some of you who are trying to fix it up. You know, trying to get all the fun out of your system, whatever excuse, living outside of the ark of safety. The Spirit of God is here. Come home. Home is right here at the altar. You can renew your body, surrender your life, and get out of that poverty, get out of that hog pen, and live a life of victory, a life of spiritual prosperity. Is there one who is tired and willing to come home? God is waiting. It is his desire that none perish that all come to repentance. But a step in the process that only you can make as an individual. You have to come to yourself, recognize that I'm lost. If I continue down the road I'm in, I could die without Christ. I may be involved in some situations that are bringing reproach to the name of Christ, to my wife, to my husband, to my children, and I don't want to live that way. I want God's choice and blessing over my life. And the only way I can receive that is give my heart to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Is there one this morning? Christ will give you power to live a sanctified life unto Him. He will love you. He will comfort you. He will care for you. He will minister to your needs. Is there such a one? Come home.